Not again! Four score and seven years ago, I said this was a bad idea. Beware of rashness. Honestly, this is not fiscally responsible. Our forefathers knew this didn't work. Ah! Not again! The next time you start thinking about maybe burying some of that loose change, you might want to reconsider and put it in your piggy bank. You see, one of the questions that I'm commonly asked is, can I actually bury pennies around my hydrangeas so I can change the color of their blooms? Well, no. Despite the fact that there are some conflicting viewpoints in the gardening community, the reality is that the color of the hydrangea bloom is dependent on the amount of aluminum absorbed from the soil, not the pH directly. You see, high levels of aluminum in acidic soil create blue flowers, and a lack of aluminum in alkaline soil makes them pink. So let's just take a look at two hydrangeas, a pink one and a blue one. They are the same hydrangea. You see, this is Let's Dance Rhythmic Blue. Clearly that one's not blue. How did that happen? Well, it's soil chemistry. So it's what we've been talking about, right? So if I want more blue flowers, what I want is the soil to become more acidic. We talked about aluminum, so add aluminum sulfate. You can buy bags of it and just sprinkle it around the plants. If you want them to be pinker in color, then you want to add something that makes the soil sweeter, more alkaline, like ordinary lime that you can pick up at your local garden center. Well, let's go back to the penny. So you have to wonder, how did that myth get started? You see, at one point, pennies were actually made out of pure copper, but even then it would take a very large amount of them and a long time for pennies to have a true effect on the soil and change the color of the bloom. Today, the modern penny, which is mostly made of zinc and contains very little copper, is virtually worthless in your garden. So my advice to you is save those pennies and buy more hydrangeas. <laughs>